1st of July. I'm above the tree line. So late yesterday, I made a video sort of showing where this trail went as it switched back up the mountain. Let me swing around here. That's the mountain. And I could not see sort of where it ended up other than it went up that wash right there. I think you can just see next to my head there and coming out right at the end there a little trace and that's the trail uh, then goes around that little knob that little knob over there and swings around sort of in a semicircular bowl still climbing but a much gentler grade so that's what today is looking like mostly overcast unfortunately i still may get some views it's supposed to be some lovely spectacular viewpoints of the collegiates we'll see when i get there Oh yeah, I can see a little, a little bit of high angle there at the far end. So from the map I knew to expect this bowl here. And trail goes right there. And right about there. And hits the horizon right about there in a long arc. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Yeah. From up there on that ridge is supposed to be one of those places that uh, the view is up to the east, I think, primarily. There's the trail down there. So the, the red route that I'm on is on the east side of this main mountain, which is Emma Burr, uh, the alternate, I can't remember the name of it, runs on the other side of it up the valley. Um, I think that might be Mount Kreitzer, which is the next one. And swinging around the high point there, east northeast of where my position is right now on the saddle i think that is mount princeton and uh swinging around a little bit more Oof. look at that ridge beautiful somehow right at the saddle here I'm getting like four or five bars of 5G <laughs> suddenly. So I uploaded the video. Okay, it's a little cold and breezy, however, so I'm going to move on. The goal is to go through a couple of these more before I get down into another valley for a total of about 22 miles for the day if I can make it. So I do have to press on. It's Emma Burr Mountain. Trails right down here. Gonna go down into the valley there. Look at that view. And the trail pretty much just follows that. Uh, that one's Mount Kreitzer. And the trail goes around the 
corner here and then back this way and it actually flips over. Uh, you see that peak there with that uh, white snow patch there. It goes in between Mount Kreutzer and that one. It flips over and is a little bit on the western side of the, the crest. I'll just pan around here a little bit. Some of these peaks you know, are, well, they're in the clouds right now. Looks like right in there, there's a natural cave. Let's see if you can get in there. I'm not gonna do it, but it'd be interesting. On a prior clip, that's the snowfield on the right-hand mountain. This was not visible before. But that's where the trail goes, right through the snow. It doesn't look like it's very high angle, though. I think you could see the storm clouds coming in. <laughs> Better hurry up. See what lies to the west. The clouds. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Looks like a ski place right there. I'll have to look up and see what that is. Is there a lake down beneath? Oh, yeah. So if I'm shaking here. Okay. I just slipped through this pass and then just kind of hug this ridge here pretty high up for a while, so hopefully the weather will hold off. I think one of those has to be Mount Elbert, tallest mountain in Colorado. Not sure which one. Just scared up Mama Tarmigan. That's why. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to scare you away. Mama coming back. Get you back in the nest. Cause you're not fit to fly. Mama wasn't much fit to fly either. Nest is probably somewhere up here from where they came from. started to rain a little bit. It's looking pretty ugly up there. Fortunately, I have to go follow basically that ridge. And uh, for some miles. So we'll see how it gets. This is Cottonwood Pass right here. <laughs> a lot of switchbacks for the cars. A lot of switchbacks for hikers too. <laughs> <laughs> 